economic opportunities, but huge, huge threats for basic democracy. And we're seeing it right now in France. And, and, and we're on the brink of potentially having two European countries where Russia is the balance uh, disruptor of uh, their, their leadership. And what we might assess as a very covert effort in 2016 in the United States is a very overt effort as well as covert in uh, Germany and France, yep. already been tried in Montenegro and the Netherlands. And uh, so we, we feel part of our responsibility is to educate the rest of the world about what's going on because it's now in the character assassination of candidates. Our Washington correspondent, Philip Crowther, has more on the U.S. investigation. Says there was a covert and not so covert uh, meddling in the French election. Essentially what he means there is first of all the Russians according to him and what he knows and he knows a lot uh, are trying to do what they did with the US presidential election that is uh, hacking trying to get into email systems for example and then release that information at the opportune time uh, much like the Russians did during this presidential election here in the United States when it came to emails from the Democratic National Committee and from Hillary Clinton's campaign chairman, John Podesta. That is one part of what uh, Richard Burr uh, and Senator Walker say that the Russians are up to in France. Uh, the other one is more of a misinformation campaign, propaganda, maybe the creation of fake news stories uh, in France as well. And you heard some uh, countries mentioned there as well by Richard Burr. This is interesting, uh, saying that there are uh, there is Russian meddling in the elections, not just in France, but also in Germany, and that there had already been attempts in the likes of the Netherlands and in Montenegro. So this is something that the U.S. intelligence services know about and are looking at in other countries, not just their own. And you heard it there again from Richard Burr. He has a message for the countries. He says, part of our responsibility is to educate the rest of the world. So it's not just a, an American matter. It is happening in Europe as well, according to, again, the Senate Intelligence Committee. Very crowded there.